Hey everybody, I'm Molly and I'm so excited for you guys to get your new makeup. So I wanted to do this quick little video for all you um, that have recently ordered um, just to help you when you get your products of how to build your compact and how to apply your highlight and contour. So here it goes. So um, I love to recommend this palette 12. It's like the perfect size. If you've got a smaller palette, the eight or smaller, then this is just the same thing it applies to you as well. So when you guys get your makeup in the mail, it comes in these cute little tins. And what I like to do is I like to uh, put my thumb in the back and slide it out and kind of grab it like that so my fingers don't get in the makeup. And then you get your compact and you open it up and I kind of place my makeup in the order that I apply my makeup. So you just pop it in there, place it however you'd like. Um, these are my, my brightener. I have actually two highlights right now, but um, you probably only need one contour, lip cheek colors, and then whatever else you've purchased. Um, eyeshadows, eyeliner, this is my illuminator, bronzer, and this is my setting powder. So let's go ahead and get started to see how it's a simple highlight and contour, y'all. Okay, so um, you can start however you'd like. Um, you can do the dot method, you can do it with a brush and then blend it however you want. Um, I'm gonna start with my brightener today and you just kind of, you can do it with a brush or you can do it with your finger. I like to place two right here and just kind of swipe that up and I'm just gonna put my brightener on with my finger. And then I am going to put a little bit of my all over highlight color on with my brush. Now you can definitely put it on with your finger as well and just dot it. Um, you just, I'm gonna use this blush and bronzer brush, which I love this brush. I'm gonna use this small side and lightly tap it in, lightly tap it into my, um, my main color. And I just kind of go by my jawline first. I kind of start at the bottom and kind of go over that brightener part right there. I'm going to just kind of work my way all over my face. And I'm kind of just like buffing it in my skin. You can do like little twirly motions. Get the side of my nose. Um, and then we'll blend it all in a minute. So less product is better on your brush. You can always add more and build, um, but you don't need a lot. So don't start too heavy handed. I kind of leave the top of my forehead while I'll put my contour in a second, I'll show you. But you can um, kind of get under that with this brush or you can use your finger and kind of help stipple it a little bit. Perfector sponge is great for getting in those underneath your eye. Um, like I said, I like to sometimes use my finger and I'll blend that out in a second. That's my brightener highlight. Um, but that, that's it. So all it is, is the brightener and then the all over color. Just make sure you've covered your face and you're good. And then we can go on to contour. Um, I like to do contour with a detail brush. Now, if you don't have that brush and you have one brush, I would just like pinch the small side in and do it that way. Um, with my contour, I start kind of at the top of my ear right here, right? I go right under that bone. Like if you can feel your cheekbone, you kind of want to go right under it. I kind of lightly tap it in. You can stipple it like this, stippling just little like tapping motions, or you can swipe it, whatever is good for you. But you kind of want to go right on that bone. And I never go really right past that corner. So I kind of just start up high and kind of do like a little swoop. You can soften it by fanning it up. Do the other side. You can do little baby stipples. Soften it. And then I'll do my forehead. You can start kind of in the middle. You want to do go like around your hairline. And I kind of like to get the brush and push it out like this way. And you're kind of just framing your face. Connect it. And then I like to do under my jaw, like right there. Like right there. You don't want to do on top, you want to do right under. And what's that's creating that shadow. Just blend it down. Um, you can do a little bit of your nose as well. If you want to take the small side of this detailed brush, just do like two little lines close together. And then um, you can do a little bit more of your brightener if you want or dip it in your main highlight, whatever you like. And then it's time to blend. I go back to this brush. The big side is great for blending. 
You can certainly use the smaller side if you like a little bit more of a dense like brush on that side, but then just soften. I like to do big circles. And when you do your contour, contour you can kind of think of a three, you know, think of a three like that. But you just want to soften the lines. You definitely don't want to take off the product, but you just want it to soften it. And for your nose, you can kind of just soften those two lines, make sure there's nothing running like that. And then um, you're ready for your lip cheek color. So I'll take the small side and I'll dip it in whatever lip cheek color I have. Um, a little goes a long way. You can certainly tap it on with your fingers too. Um, I'll do a little bit of um, nude. And when I, when I do my cheek color, I smile, put it right on that uh, cheekbone, right above the contour. Two finger rule. Don't do two fingers close or two fingers close to your eye. And then if you get too, you want to do a little light handed with that blush. If you get too much, you can just take this brush and kind of soften it like that. Um, and lastly, if you want to put a little bit of lip color on, these are the other cheek color too. You can, a little bit of illuminator. If you have purchased that for your palette, you can put it right here. It kind of gives you that finishing glow. Put a little bit of illuminator right here. Sometimes on your cupid's bow, you can put illuminator in whoops. You can put it in your inner eye. Sky is the limit. Now, if I um, recommended a bronzer and you purchased that, then you can dip it in this. This is the tan lines bronzer. If you want to put it right here, oops, wrong one, um, right here. This kind of just warms your face up. This is the tan lines bronzer. Sometimes I'll put it right here on my chin too. And sometimes you can drag it, drag it a little bit on your neck. Make sure you're all even. Um, and then if you're super oily or you need a setting powder, then you can just pop your little setting powder under your eyes and place it in your T-zone or wherever you're feeling oily. And then you're done. I already did my eyes. I put a little bit of Mama on with some Eve in the corner and a little bit of that cocoa. And I use my Black Friday eyeliner. That's it. If y'all have any questions, please reach out. Um, this is incredible, fabulous makeup, and it takes a little bit time for your skin to adjust to cream, but once it's adjusted, it's magic. So if y'all have questions, if you need any help troubleshooting or anything, please reach out. All right, have a good day.